And that's kind of the saddest part of all, isn't it? The idea that the only thing that can sometimes push us is the validation of people on the internet who don't even know what we, like, who don't even, like, we've never interacted with before. It's a weird, like, very off-putting situation, but that's YouTube. YouTube is for the creators who don't have anything else to do, who don't feel like they fit in any other medium. And that can be very endearing. Like, it's scrappy, it's like, it's, you know, it's kind of cobbled together. But it also means that there's no structure to it, and nobody knows what they're doing, which is fine, that's kind of how art works in general. But like, it feels like YouTube is specifically for people who just don't know where else to go. And sometimes that's rewarding, and sometimes that's just crushing. As a small creator, you are looking for as much motivation as you can, and a lot of the time, it, it doesn't come easy. But it was also just this like notion of like putting out videos and knowing, knowing that nobody was gonna pay t to them anyway. And I think that was just a larger part of like feeling so isolated and small in Los Angeles, California, a place where you just inherently feel small and insignificant and isolated. You should never make videos solely to try and earn a grant or something that's ridiculous. It's, it's a very bad idea. But once I reached that burnout, I was just kind of, I was just distracted. I would play a lot of video games. I would watch a lot of YouTube and I would feel bad that I wasn't making anything. But every time I thought about making a video that I know I would enjoy making, my hands and my arms got so heavy. Like I couldn't, it was as if I was trying to hold up this extra weight of it really does feel random sometimes. It feels like the YouTube algorithm doesn't care until it just kind of randomly finds something that works. And then, just kind of run with it. Go Chris!